good morning, good morning, or whatever time of the day it is that you may be viewing this video. This is Apostle Karen Proctor. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my page. I am out here uh, walking. Walking does the body good mentally, spiritually, and physically. So if this is your first time coming to my page, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on a notification bell. That way when I upload new content, you will get the new content. God bless you. Um, I'm going to ask you to put your comments down below. Uh, let's get the conversation started. You can put your comments there. I do read them. Uh, yes, so I am out here. Uh, walking this morning. I thought this morning instead of turning the camera on me, I'm going to turn it on nature. Isn't it so beautiful how God created nature? Uh, everything God created is just so beautiful and just so wonderful. Sometimes when you're going through feeling a little down, you can just uh, look at the pictures of nature. You can just look at the, the, uh, the sky to remind you how awesome and how beautiful God is that he is still working for the word of God said in, in the uh, book of Psalms that God never sleep nor slumber. God never sleep nor slumber. And forgive me if I misquote that coming from Psalms, <laughs> but you do get the picture. He that keep it Israel neither sleep nor slumber. God is always at work. And so as I was walking, uh, this is the word of the Lord that came to me. To share with you guys set your house in order i hope i can capture these beautiful butterflies that's flying around uh set your house in order that's isaiah chapter 38 and verse 1. uh god told the prophet isaiah to go to the king hezekiah to relay this message to him that he needed to set his house in order for this day he shall surely die. Uh, Hezekiah the king received the message well. And see, sometimes when God give a word, people don't receive the message. But Hezekiah did receive the word of the Lord from the prophet. And so the Bible goes on to tell us that Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and he began to cry out to the Lord, asking the Lord to remember all the good deeds that he did. And before the prophet could even get out the courtyard, uh, the word of the Lord came back to the prophet to tell Hezekiah that God was going to extend his life for 15 years. Come on, somebody. How beautiful and awesome is that? When we turn our face unto prayer, God is able to turn situations around. First, God told the prophet to tell the king to set his house in order. It wasn't a false word. Some people may be saying, well, how are he going to tell the uh, king to set your house in order and then turn around and go back and tell him that uh, God is extending his life for 15 more years? Well, that's God. God can uh, do anything that he wants. Hezekiah got the attention of God by not saying, oh, who do you think I am? I'm the prophet. I mean, I'm the king. You're just the prophet. Hezekiah took that word to heart because he knows that when God speaks to the prophet, the word is going to come true. The word is going to come true. That part, when God speak, I'm not talking about somebody that's just opening up their mouth just to say what they want to say, but truly is saying what God say. And so, yes, that's the word that the Lord gave me as I was walking to share with his people. Why? Because God loved his people so much till he would send the word to say, get your house in order for this day you shall surely die and you know as i was just uh walking the lord brought back to me a dream that i had this morning now i don't know this uh young lady personally but i saw her in a dream laying up in the hospital bed i don't know what was wrong with her in the dream 
but she was sick. And I was there to give her what she needed in terms of feeding her uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Look at that, Lizzie. <laughs> Nature, isn't it beautiful? He's green, that's just like a chameleon. Uh, whatever environment they're in, they turn towards the environment. But God don't want us to just, uh, whatever environment we're in, turn to that environment. We have to be steady, hold our place in God. So back to the dream. I saw the young lady laying up in the hospital bed and it was like I was supposed to be making sure she had her breakfast, breakfast, <laughs> lunch, and dinner. And the truth be told, in the dream, I got the breakfast prepared for her. But what I did not do, I got so busy doing other things till I forgot to give it to her. I prepared it, but I got too busy to give it to her. And so somebody else had to give her that. And so when I went back for lunch to serve her that, um, she had moved to another room. <laughs> she moved to another room and somebody else had to serve her the lunch. So what is God saying probably to me? To be in place at the right place at the right time to do what need to be done. Um, I don't know. I didn't pray about it yet. I'm, I'm just speaking. I'm just speaking. But um, perhaps he's saying the young lady that he showed me, I pray, 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 pray. Um, no weapon formed against her shall prosper. Um, every fiery dot that come her way won't work that she will not end up sick. And maybe God is just showing me that to, to pray for her, to pray for her and pray that she get the word because I was there to feed her. And we know that the word is also, Jesus is called the bread of life. It may seem like I'm going all over the place with this, but trust me, I'm not. There's a nugget in here for everybody. Every nugget may not be for you, but some of the stuff may be for you. So in other words, chew the meat, spit out the bones. Take what's for you, use it. What's not for you, then maybe it's for somebody else. So set your house in order. And a lot of times God give us opportunity and chances to get our uh, life in order. And we think that we have all day and all night, but we don't because no man know the day or the hour that the Son of Man will appear and call, call us to the carpet. <laughs> so we just have to be ready. Set your house in order. In this case, in this case, the King Hezekiah needed to set his house in order, that he was gonna die of a physical death. But also one of the things that came to me as I was walking, not just a physical debt uh, would set your house in order. It's as if God was also saying to me to tell my people to get your house in order, uh, meaning your life, meaning your life. A lot of you out here uh, praying, hoping, wishing that God will bless you. Bless me, Lord, bless me. Turn this situation around, turn that situation around. But a lot of times um, our lives, are not in order for God to release the blessing, for God to put his hand on that thing that you wish him to uh, put his, his hands on. So what is God saying? Get your life in order. Somebody may be in need of a job, a transfer, on a job, a promotion, but you're not in order. Your life is not in order. Get your life in order like Hezekiah did. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and began to pray. I don't know. That's what it took for Hezekiah. I don't know what it's going to take for you to get your life in order that you may receive that blessing 
that God has in store for you. Yes, 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 yes. God wants to bless his people. For the word of God say the blessings of the Lord make it rich and add it no sorrow. So yes, God wants to bless you, but he, he needs you to get your life in order. I'm not here to condemn you. I'm only here to tell you what I heard the spirit of the Lord say to me to tell you. And some of you need to get your, your household, your resident in order. Some of you are in households that you don't even speak to one another. Husband at odds with wife, wife with odds with a uh, husband, uh, children at odds with parents. You come on, you just need to get your house in order so God can command the blessing upon your family. Some of you say, oh, I'm an entrepreneur, but you don't have your paperwork in order. You don't have this in order. You don't have that in order. And you're wondering why the business is not coming your way. Yes, yes, yes. I have to say what the Lord is saying to me. <laughs> Be like Hezekiah. Receive the word. When Hezekiah received the word from the prophet, again, his life was extended for 15 years. Yes. So whatever you need, to do to get in order and some of you saying lord heal me heal me don't you know it's, it's just probably because our sickness is not unto death sometimes we cause things to come upon us i'm not saying that every person is sick you caused it hear me and hear me correct sometimes there are things that we do or we don't do in our body that attract sicknesses sometimes we have to change our diet Sometimes we just simply need to exercise. Sometimes we just simply need to have X amount of sleep. And then there are some times where I just really hear the Holy Ghost saying right now, sometimes you need to take that bitterness out of your life. Sometimes you just got to move on and forgive that person. Forgive those people so that sickness can leave your body. Because God never intended for his people to be sick. He said... And Isaiah 53 and 5, that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by Jesus' stripes, we are healed. So, beloved, this is Apostle Karen Proctor coming to share the word of the Lord with you. And that is to get your life in order get your house in order get your house in order you want to be ready for the blessings that god has in store for you yes here on earth as it is in heaven and just it, for those that god may be getting ready to transition from earth so you want that transition to be heaven and not hell so that's it I believe that I said enough. I believe that I've uh, given you what the Lord has given me on this Saturday morning walk in the park. Uh, this is Apostle Karen Proctor. Once again, if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. If you feel like this message uh, has been a blessing to you. Put those comments there. Go ahead and share it with somebody. Maybe you have been telling your friends and your family, your co-workers, your neighbors, hallelujah. Maybe God has given you this same word to tell them to get their house in order. But you know, the Bible say out of the mouth of two or three, let everything be established. So since you already told them that's one, and now you come across this video, so that's two. So we call it confirmation. But God say out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let everything be established. So go ahead and share that broadcast. And also I am an empowerment life coach. I help people to get their life back on track by holding them accountable, uh, helping them to move forward. So if you need somebody to uh, help you to become unstuck, hold you accountable, move, help you to move forward uh, in your life, then reach out to me. Go to my website, www 
www.karenproctor.com. There's a tab there that says connect with the apostle. Go ahead and reach out to me or I'm going to drop the telephone number, my office number uh, down below that maybe you can call. And if you want to be a blessing to my ministry, you can go ahead and also reach out to me for uh, the books that I have written that's going to empower the lives of the readers, the serious, let me say that, because some people don't take things serious. Come on, hallelujah. But it will empower <coughs> the serious readers. So uh, I'll put the links there for my books. You can go ahead and support me. If you have been watching my videos, uh, the videos that I post up from the Sunday messages, the, the walking videos, the prayer videos, the videos from uh, when I'm going out to minister in the churches um, and you have never responded with putting comments, uh, being a blessing uh, financially or just purchasing a book, why don't you do that today? Why don't you go ahead and partner with me as I do the work of the Lord? God bless you, beloved. Have a blessed day. Bye for now.